Hello gainers, I'm Ralphie and welcome to my channel called Fitter Philosophy in which I discuss things practical, experience-based, philosophical and stoic. And my subject today is about adapting as we go through life because sometimes the things we need to do we tend to avoid because they're hidden in plain sight, they're right in front of us but we're so wrapped up in our routine, our habits, our way of living that we don't actually recognise them properly. And uh, you find this particularly, and I'll give you a working example, with people who get in a rut. That's a really good word. People get in a rut in their lives. And within that rut, they tend to stay exactly the same without really changing in the changing world or changing according to the experience that they have of the world and therefore they have a world view which is very similar to the one they had five years ago, 10 years ago, 15, 20, 25, 30 years ago because it's so easy to get wrapped up in our own little lives that we seal up the wrapping paper with sticky tape and um, leave it as it, is, as it is. Whereas for those people who do not wrap themselves up in their lives, who do not seek too many comforts or the over familiarity of an environment in which they are growing out of but refuse to recognize it, well, these people adapt, they adjust, change slightly, recalibrate, re examine look at the world around, see it with fresh eyes, renewed eyes, they morph, they evolve, they grow up, they grow on, they grow old, they grow wiser. And it's an incremental, steady, slow thing. And you find these are the wisest people. They're not particularly intellectual. They're not particularly smart. And they're not even particularly lucky. But they make a success of life because they examine life as it is, not as it used to be in their lives. So they don't stagnate. They don't end up institutionalized in their own four, four walls of their life, of the body. As, and as a result, people who can avoid that, and it's a slow thing, it's a gradual thing. We've got to experience life, to learn from life, to adjust to life, the new perception of life, the new reality that is our lives. For those that can, and you don't have to do that much, it makes a huge difference in the consciousness in which we engage with life when we see it more as it really, really is and not the illusion that it used to be. I know that this monologue has been a little bit more abstract than some that I've done recently. But have a mull over what I'm saying here, because often in life, the difference between a successful life and a failed life is not that much, not much at all. And even the slightest of adjustments, gradually, incrementally, over time, it can dramatically improve our life, our quality of life, the way we look after our health, the positivity of the relationships we have with people around us, the avoidance of unnecessary medication, the avoidance uh, or moderation of recreational drugs like coffee, alcohol, cigarettes, cigars and other stuff. It all adds up over time and it's fascinating to see that those who survive and are still morphing, adjusting and adapting and leading the fullest of lives in their old age are people who have never institutionalized and overly preserved themselves in the past. And sometimes when we go into houses, other people's houses, you see all the photographs, the memorabilia, the trophies, the stuff from years and years and years ago and to be honest it's very presence it's holding people back 
from living a fuller, more meaningful, tangible life. I'm Rafi. Hope you've enjoyed this. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.